<laughs> oh, crap. Hey guys, so I'm on a new block and a new job. Work from someone else this time. I'm in old growth, uh, mostly white wood. <laughs> it's so nice here. Oh, nice cool air. Sun's just coming over, peeking over the mountain there. I had some shade this morning. I just peeked over the mountain. Um, and we, I'm opening up the bottom of the block. And like I say, I'm in old growth, so you can see there's a lot of, uh, you know, um, saplings around. Actually, scroll over here. But there's a lot of big open clean areas, eh? Really, really nice. But up above me, um, they call it bastard growth. I guess there was a, a fire went through here, like, you know, 200 years ago or something. So uh, it's old growth, sort of, right? Um, it, like it naturally grew up on its own. So it's all small wood up there. There's a couple of really nice big firs up there. Oh, real nice stuff. That'll be in another video. It's going to take me a couple of days to get up there. And I'm opening up and I got a bit of um, a little bit of a challenge. I'll show you. I'll show you what's going on here. I'm going to flip the camera over. So I'll just stop it here. Okay. So you see that writing paint there. It says back spar. So what that means to my understanding is that's where the tail hold's going to be, right? Because they're on a grapple yarding block. So because you can't get roads up there, you can't get uh, height, right? The grounds will be hitting the... Uh, or the, pardon me, the cables will be hitting the ground and they need height to lift the logs up. So they're going to climb up, you know, probably way up to there somewhere and put a big block up there and the cables will, will hook up up there. And then, of course, they have to tie back this tree, right? Tie back to maybe that tree down there, down at the base or something. And, uh, and then, okay, so considering that, I got to leave this tree, right? So, see, there's the back line right there, right? That orange ribbon right there. Um, so you want to fall everything above this one tree uphill from it, right? And then you see my my axe right there hitting that tree. Okay, so this one, the line the line goes how's it go now? It goes across right here, and then it drops down to go around that tree, and then it comes up a little bit, and then um, more trees over there that way are leaning this way. So if I want to follow those trees or like there's a couple of trees right there and farther back you can't see. They're leaning this way, so I have to get this tree out of the way. So to follow this tree, I can't throw it up above this thing because this tree is in the way. So I gotta follow it below this one, which is gonna make it a make it really hard to yard, but they rarely yard straight up the hill. Like the, the yarder will be sitting on an angle, so it'll be you know, instead of going straight up the hill, the cables will go off that way or go off that way. Um, so if, for example, the yarder is going out that way, he could still easily pull this log out from behind this tree. Um, so I'm hoping they'll be able to do that. Yeah, it's real good cutting here. It's going to be really, really fun. It's going to be a really fun shift here. I got about uh, one shift here with these guys, then I go back to my own job. Gonna throw it right there. I'll try pushing it. I'm gonna wedge that. It's gonna be wedging my guts out. You see my axe just bounce off of that wedge. Oh. Okay. Okay. So this thing's pretty small. I don't know if I have the weight, and it's pretty close to it, so it's not gonna have a lot of velocity when it hits this thing. But this thing didn't really. Lean back heavy, it's just a lot of weight. Yeah, I didn't do anything. 
Yeah, go figure. Okay, I'll get the next one here cut up and I'll put the, turn the camera back on. It's a downhill leaner, so I'll try to swing it sideways here. The way it's been pretty easy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if I got that camera. <laughs> I was looking up. I wasn't looking at the at the screen. <laughs> There's had this. Had two branches come down. One came down way over there and I only came down in front of me, you've probably seen that one. Look at that, eh? Perfect. What a beauty. Well, maybe I'll just take this guy. It's technically tall enough that I have to cut her down, even though it's now gonna be kind of pointless. But the little stubby snag right there, you know? If I can't, if I can't uh, reach the top of it with my hand, I gotta cut it down, even though it's, it's pointless, but I have to do it. In the name of safety. Sometimes you'll get, <clears throat> oh, I'm sure I'll show you one day on camera. Well, you get a snag like this, right? You know, as high as they can reach. But it'll be like five feet wide and it's all slabby in pieces. It's more dangerous to cut the snag down than to leave it. Or, you know, then they, they say it's too dangerous to leave, but it's actually more dangerous to cut it down because it's not gonna just naturally fall over on its own. Some of the rules are just ridiculous that we gotta follow. Yeah, I could put myself in danger if all the rules. Easy peasy. Okay, so now that I got that tree down, it went lower than I, I wanted it to. Oh well. But now that that tree's down, it's now safe enough to follow the snag right here. So I'm gonna follow the snag before I buck that. You don't wanna be working underneath the snag, right? So what I'm gonna do, aim it down there. And I got a whole schwack of pusher trees if I need to. I don't want to wedge this thing. If I have to wedge it, I'm going to push it. There's no way I'm going to wedge this thing. Because this thing's been dead long enough. The top's broken. There's no fine needles on it. Look at all this fungus. This bark is just sitting in there, right? This whole, you know, it could have a thousand pounds of bark just come sh 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 coming right down like a freaking uh, like a blade, right? Just come shooting right down. All crumble and all fall on you. Look at this 
really nasty, nasty. Brown wire looks like coffee. Yeah, gross looking stuff. <laughs> I'll wait a minute for that to drain. So it seems pretty solid. There's some rock in the middle, but uh, there's, there's a lot of solid material there. So that's good. Again, I don't know if I got the camera, I was looking up. <clears throat> Look how wet that is, eh? Man, I was just puking out. Nasty water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to swing it right between those two trees right there. <laughs> and I did it. Okay, I should do it. Perfect. Right on. Yeah, I'll take uh, one log off the bat and yeah. Okay, another wedger. This is the one by the uh, corner here. The line goes up right here. It's going, it's the uh, wedges are going in, so it's good. Getting easier. Oh yeah. Going. Oh, crap. Ah, I wasn't supposed to go there. You see, I aim right there, right below that stuff. And I went down there. A lot of rot in this side, eh? Or a lot of downhill weight, uh, weight um, pulling it downhill. Well, day's over. Man, what an awesome day. Great weather. Lots of black flies, though, biting me. But uh, nice, cool breeze. <laughs> Just great. Anyways, I gotta get going. I got the longest hike to the road. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning.